We'd now like to march ahead and uh, we are truly, truly humbled to now invite on stage His Excellency Alexandre Ziegler, the Ambassador of France to India. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together to please welcome on stage Mr. Ziegler to share his valuable thoughts and words with you this gathering. Dear Special Secretary Rashmi, dear General Delegate to Saint-Gobain in India, Mr. Mahajan, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure and a real privilege for me to be uh, tonight uh, in Mumbai as, this, uh, as a guest of this conclusion and awards ceremony. I'd like to greet Saint-Gobain and the Economic Times for their initiative and the uh, obviously already major success uh, of uh, this working session. Uh, I know you've, you've worked a lot today. Uh, you'll be hearing some more speeches, but then the interesting part of the awards will, uh, will come, I promise. The theme of the workshop that took place today is probably one of the most critical issues that uh, we will be facing uh, in the coming years. Building or rebuilding cities worth living, worth living in harmony with the environment. Everywhere in the world, we have no other choice than going sustainable. It's true everywhere in the world, but it's obviously especially true here, in this place of the world, in India, uh, where 30, uh, well, 300 million actually, 300 million new uh, urban dwellers will settle in the cities of all over India in the 20 coming years. So inventing uh, new cities, smart cities, sustainable way of life will be crucial for this country as much as it's crucial for the whole planet. This is a tremendous and very tough challenge. But I really think we have to be confident. We have to be confident in the awareness of the people. We have to be confident in the political impetus towards making this possible and fighting efficiently against the effect of climate change and against climate change itself. This uh, signal, sign of confidence, demonstration of confidence, I think we've all seen it uh, last year uh, when the international community uh, well, could get together and agree uh, together uh, in Paris to make this Paris conference last year uh, a success and especially an agreement which will be an historical one which was the uh, Paris Agreement. Not historical because it was taken place in Paris actually, but historical because for the first time in history the whole world had agreed that this challenge was crucial for the future of our planet. Uh, crucial because uh, as Ban Ki-moon uh, has said in one day, there's no plan B because there is no planet B. We are all living here on planet A. I was in Paris at that time and I can testify that the world's unity has been a sincere and a very deep move uh, fostered by leaders from all continents and especially by the leaders from this country, from India. And I, I, I'd really like to pay tribute to the tremendous role that has been played by India, not only in joining the Paris Agreement, but actually in shaping the Paris Agreement and in producing uh, very key concepts within the, the agreement, concepts that are of such a relevance and of such importance for us today, which are especially the concept of sustainable lifestyle. I think we all have to go uh, and to uh, invent these sustainable lifestyles. We need this uh, um, political impetus. This, we need this uh, people's awareness as much as we need public financial support. 
But there will be no sustainable solution without technologies, which means without a strong commitment from the private sector. And I couldn't agree more with what Special Secretary has just said uh, a few minutes ago. What has been really decisive in Paris is not only the political impetus, but this dramatic change that has happened over the past 10 years, and especially between the years separating the Copenhagen Agreement, the Copenhagen Conference, and the Paris Conference, is that this vision of uh, uh, going green, uh, green economy, has a strong opportunity for the business community rather than as an hindrance. And this has changed the whole state of mind, and, and this has made this success possible, and this will make uh, our life sustainable in the coming years. The building sector has long been seen, uh, well, I would say, as a major contributor to greenhouse gas emission, let's be honest, exerting a lot of environmental pressures, consuming natural assets. Well, all this is true. But at the same time, it's a key sector for economic growth and development, and above all, it's a sector where a large part of the technological solutions that can be found to abide by our commitments to, ta to tackle climate change will be invented. So I would say they are now the key sector uh, for what we're going to, to focus uh, in the coming years. I'm therefore obviously delighted to be here participa participating in an event organized in partnership with a French company founded in 17th century, a long time ago, by the then Prime Minister of the Kingdom of France, Jean-Baptiste Colbert, and which is, which is a company which is today known all over the world for its technological know-how in glass, in building materials. I would add, but it's been mentioned already, that Saint-Gobain has chosen to settle here in India almost 20 years ago, not only to produce in India, but also to innovate in India. The company is fully committed on in the Indian market. They have launched large training programs and a very high-level R&D center in partnership with the IIT of Madras, which I had the honor to visit uh, a few weeks ago. And let me see, it's really, really impressive what you're doing there. Now that time has come for action in changing our economic model, well, we all need international cooperation based on technological exchange and fair trade. And, well, my country, France, has a long-lasting experience in working on the city of the future. We have long been committed alongside uh, India on these issues, and we are now fully supportive of the very ambitious programs that have been launched by this government, and in particular the very visionary uh, Smart Cities program. What we can bring here on the Indian market are companies which have the complete range of competence to tackle all the issues faced by the modernizing cities uh, in India. It's true in transportation, in utility management, energy, water, waste management, planning, IT, communication, and obviously building and, and housing. But what, what we try to bring also is an integrated approach of all this. Well, a smart city means thinking global, thinking smart. Uh, it means that the metro is not only a metro, but it's a way of structuring a new uh, way of living in the city. It means that, that buildings are not only buildings. They are smart buildings, they, are, they have green, greeneries on there, uh, you can grow plants on the rooftops, you, 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 ca you can have uh, renewable energy uh, facilities on the building. So this kind of integrated approach is exactly the approach that we would like to uh, foster uh, here uh, in this country. We also try to develop exchanges between people and cities, as we did when we uh, invited, for instance, last week in, uh, in Paris, the Commissioner of Chandigarh, to look into experiences that have been, that have been made uh, in some neighborhoods uh, in Paris and near Paris. I was indeed myself in Paris last week, and I chaired uh, in Paris on December 6, together with my uh, very dear friend and remarkable colleague, the ambassador uh, of uh, India to Paris, 
a large meeting on urban development in India to draw the French business uh, awareness on what is currently occurring hit, uh, here and what is taking place here. And the success of this meeting, we had more than 100 companies uh, represented. Uh, I think it's a demonstration of the deep interest French companies have in today's India and above all uh, of their confidence uh, in its economy. What I'd like to say on that is that, well, not only do we make in India, but we are committed to innovate in India and to invent here in India solutions for what will be the cities of tomorrow, not only in India, but I would say all over the world. That's exactly what saint is doing, for instance, in, uh, in, uh, in Madras. Next year in November, we'll launch... Uh, the third edition of our French festival to India, Bonjour India, which is to last uh, around three months all across the country. It used to be more kind of cultural festival and our idea for next year is to organize a range of events to focus and to emphasize on Indo-French cooperations, not only on the, on the cultural sector, but also and above all in economy, on knowledge, on innovation, on technology. And we have indeed decided to focus this coming edition on three major themes, which are Go Green, High Mobility, and Smart Citizen. And I think that you have actually dealt all day long with these very exciting issues. So, in conclusion, I'd like to well, emphasize once again that this huge challenge for India, but I would say for the whole world, this challenge of inventing new sustainable development models for the city of tomorrow will only be addressed through a strong country-to-country -country cooperation, business-to-business, company-to-company cooperation, and through this very strong interaction of political impetus, uh, people's awareness, and uh, innovation led by the private sector. As you see, France is fully committed to it alongside uh, India, fully determined to, to take all its part to this uh, crucial and vital challenge with its companies, with its experience, with its technologies, and also with its culture, because inventing a new, new cities means inventing new uh, way of life and transforming the, the way we as citizens uh, are, are seeing our cities. One of the great achievements of this Smart Green Summit is for me uh, uh, that it's, you know, building a, a new, new step towards this uh, objective. It's part of this success to come, and that's why I'd like once again to sincerely uh, greet the organizer and, of course, to congratulate in advance the laureates, which are going to be awarded uh, tonight, because they are the ones which are uh, really inventing solutions so that we, our children and our grandchildren can still live and live well in tomorrow's cities. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Ziegler. Sir, if I may request you to also please remain on the stage. That's right, sir. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'd now like to invite Mr. Venkat Subramanian, the Managing Director, St. Gobal, India, Jip Rock Business, to please come on stage and present a token of gratitude to Mr. Alexander. Can we please have the token of gratitude on the stage, please? Yes.